Welcome to our video on monotonic differentiable sorting networks to be presented at iClear 2022. I am Felix Petersen and this is joint work with my collaborators Christian Borgelt, Hilde Kühne and Oliver Deussen. As producing these videos requires a long time of research, I will be uploading only one video every two to three months. Thus, I'd appreciate if you subscribe so you don't miss out on future research videos. Thanks, but now let's get into it. Let's start by discussing sorting networks. Sorting networks are a family of classic sorting algorithms. They sort by propagating values along so-called wires and for this they use conditional swap operators which swap the values on two connected wires if they are in the wrong order. In this case we have two inputs A and B. The swap operation can be expressed as the max and min of the two inputs. If the top wire carries a 2 and the bottom wire carries a 5, the values are swapped. On the other hand, if the values are already in their correct order, they are propagated without swapping. This can be extended to sorting more than two values, for example as displayed via the odd-even sorting network architecture, which swaps odd and even neighbors until the entire sequence is sorted. As we want to integrate sorting networks into neural architectures, we need to make them differentiable for end-to-end -end learning. Thus, we consider continuously relaxing the individual swap operators. For this, let's consider a equals 0 0.5 and, for simplicity, b equals 0. We can express min and max as convex combinations of a and b weighted by alpha and compute alpha via the heaviside function of the differences. If a minus b, or in this case a, is positive, alpha is 1 and the maximum is 1. If a is negative, alpha is 0 and the minimum is a, while the maximum is b. This leads to a hard conditional swap that is non-differentiable. However, to make it differentiable, we can perturb the differences by a probability distribution and solve the expectation value in closed form. For example, we can use the logistic distribution and this lets us compute alpha using the logistic sigmoid function. But we can also use other distributions, such as the Cauchy distribution. Displayed, you can see the PDFs and CDFs of the respective distributions. Now that we know how to make a swap differentiable, let's consider a full differentiable sorting network. Here we have a four-wire sorting network, where the swaps are evenly spread out to simplify the visualization. In the bottom plot, the value on each wire is displayed, and you can see how the swaps affect the values on each of the wires. Let us consider how changing the steepness or inverse temperature beta changes the differentiable sorting. By increasing beta, it becomes close to a hard sort, and by decreasing beta, the values get closer together. As monotonicity is highly desirable in optimization, and error boundness is also very desirable, we will now consider these properties. For this, Let's consider the monotonicity of an individual swap operator. As we can see, the conditional swap with the logistic distribution is non-monotonic, which is undesirable. In our paper, we characterize the requirements for a monotonic continuous conditional swap operator and find that it requires that the derivative of the sigmoid function f, that is the PDF of the distribution, lies in omega of 1 over x squared. However, monotonicity is not enough for a good differentiable swap operator, as this also includes distributions leading to relaxations with unbounded error as displayed in red. Thus, we also characterize the error boundness and find that error bounded relaxations have distributions where the PDF lies in O of 1 over x squared. This leads to a very nice characterization of monotonic error bounded functions, which is theta of 1 over x squared. A nice example of a distribution leading to an error bounded and monotonic swap is the Cauchy distribution, as displayed in green. In our paper, we extend both theorems to apply not only to individual swaps, but instead to full differentiable sorting networks, and for the proofs, see our paper. Let us now consider a few more examples of monotonic and error bounded differentiable sorting networks and the distributions required. The logistic distribution leads to a non-monotonic differentiable sorting network. The reciprocal sigmoid function is a very simple sigmoid function for error-bounded monotonic sorting networks. However, its error bound is quite high. In contrast, the Cauchy distribution leads to a greatly reduced error bound. Finally, we also constructed the error-optimal function, 
that is the function with the smallest possible error bound, which is displayed on the right. Let us now compare the monotonicity and error boundness of other differentiable sorting operators. As we already know, logistic differentiable sorting networks are not monotonic. In the following, we continue to explore the properties by observing other existing sorting operators by sorting only two numbers. For the case of sorting two numbers, Neural Sort and AlgoVision Bubble Sort yield the exact same result as they are also based in some sense on logistic distributions. Interestingly, Optimal Transport also yields a numerically indistinguishable result with differences only for very large inputs. Fast sort is the only existing sorting operator that yields a monotonic sort, however, its error is not bounded. The differentiable sorting network with logistic distributions and activation replacement trick also yields a non-monotonic sorting function. Here we also compare the proposed monotonic differentiable sorting networks and in the table we summarize the properties of each function. Finally, let's consider some experiments and empirical results. Here we use the sorting and ranking supervision task of the four-digit MNIST sorting benchmark. We are given a set of four-digit MNIST numbers, which are given in their sorted order, while the individual absolute values remain unsupervised. The goal is to train a CNN producing a scalar value for each of the images, which corresponds to their displayed value and that the CNN is an order-preserving mapping. For this, we use one instance of a CNN and apply it to each of the images, which yields an array of scalars, which we can then input into a differentiable sorting algorithm for supervision. Using monotonic differentiable sorting networks, we achieve state-of-the-art results on this task. Here, we show the proportion of individual ranks correctly identified for sets of n equals 15 numbers. We explore the performances for large ranges of inverse temperatures beta and average over multiple seats to identify the best function and also to be able to consider the hyperparameter sensitivity. We find that the error optimal distribution performs best in this case. However, we find that for other sorting architectures, the smoother Cauchy distribution performs better. Further, we find that the error optimal distribution has a high robustness to the hyperparameter. We find that the reciprocal and Cauchy distribution perform comparable. However, also considering other settings, Cauchy usually performs better and is more robust to the hyperparameter beta than reciprocal. Finally, we find that logistic and logistic with the activation replacement trick perform substantially worse almost independent of the hyperparameters. Thank you very much for your attention. If you're interested, check out our paper and our code on GitHub. We added the new distributions to the diff sort package so you can switch to monotonic differentiable sorting networks within a line of code. For questions and remarks, please come to our virtual poster session or drop me an email. If you watched it till the end, don't forget to like and subscribe. In a few months, I will release a new differentiable renderer, so stay tuned. Until then, you could watch how to make arbitrary algorithms differentiable using AlgoVision.